Are you serious? Are you serious? We have breaking news <clears throat> coming out of Egypt. Let me get this to you right now. It's a very volatile situation, of course, in Egypt. And if you understand the prophecy of, of Isaiah chapter 19, you'll see how very important this is. Anyway, Mohammed Ibrahim, the Egyptian interior minister, survived assassination today. Uh, Egypt's interior minister says his convoy was targeted by a large explosive device that was likely detonated by a remote control. Speaking on state television uh, this app, the, today, this is September the 5th, 2013, and yes, it is in the middle of Rosh Hashanah, uh, in an eastern Cairo district, a clearly shaken but unscathed Mohammed Ibrahim said the explosion targeted his own car he says four other cars in the convoy were damaged. Ibrahim said two police officers in the convoy were in serious conditions and that a child who was near the explosion suffered serious leg injuries. Uh, Egypt has been hit by political unrest and violence, of course, since the July 3rd uh, military coup, uh, which was... I mean, folks, 14 million people protest that you need to go. I don't even know if that's a military coup. The military carried out the will of the people. They One year of Muhammad mercy, one year of the fierce king, the cruel Lord, that it says in Isaiah chapter 19, verse 4. One year. And they said, that's enough. We do not want <clears throat> Sharia law. So ever since the, <clears throat> excuse me, Ever since the uh, removal of Mohammed Mercy on July 3rd, the uh, Islamic President Mohammed Mercy being removed, who was once the leader of the uh, Muslim Brotherhood, now we have, we've had tons of unrest. But uh, the attack on Mohammed Ibrahim, uh, who is in charge of the country's police, marks the first time that a senior government official has been targeted. We're going to continue to keep a close eye on things developing around the world today. As the G20 summit begins, of course, in St. Petersburg, Russia. And oh, by the way, President Obama was supposed to sit very close to Vladimir Putin. Only uh, Saudi Arabia was sitting between them, okay? They sat in a, around a table. And uh, it was supposed to have been Putin, the Saudi Arabian leader, and then um, Obama. Well, they've re, re, they decided to reorganize the seating arrangements. Now there's five countries between Obama and Putin. We wouldn't want those guys to get too close. We're only on the brink of a war, a regional war. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're living in the last days. We'll be talking about today on our show from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Covering the G20 Summit. We may break away live even during the show. We will if the president is speaking or some other major diplomatic development. Or something may could happen still in Syria. Uh, we know it's coming. Today I doubt, but we know it's coming. I'm Pastor Paul Bagley. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ.